All right, what you see here is a new fan I got over the summer. This is a Dayton industrial ceiling fan in 56 inches. It's actually considered a commercial one based on the label, but for me, it's, I always just gonna call them an industrial one, to be honest. Um, yeah, I got this from Tommy, better known on YouTube as the fan page. I would have originally picked this up from him at Fanimation. However, due to the last minute unforeseen events of my grandfather passing away in the Dominican Republic, I had to take a flight back right away, literally the night before Fanimation. So, yeah, so this is one of the fans I did get from Fanimation that Mark Wilson brought back for me. And this is one that I remember when he posted a video of it on his channel a while back that I was really interested in getting it off him if he ever did sell it because, one, the bearings are in good shape in it, and two, it, it, it honestly doesn't even look that worn out. Now, in his video, he said that he thought, thought it was from 1997. Um, it's actually not as old as he thought it was. It is actually from 2007. The um, Dayton tag on it. And yes, we do call these day turds for the fact that these are known for not being the most reliable fan, unfortunately. Despite that, they are very good performers. So if they don't last too long if they're used all, a lot due to the... Um, bearings in them overheating and the fact that the, there's no vents on it there it is serial number so actually 07 what makes it a 2007 model from what um who was this guy 724 informed me of because i know he has at least one of them i think so i figured he might be able to decode it a little bit better but, um, yeah, as you can see, like, the bottom of the motor is in really good shape. It's still got a little scuff from Barbie being on the shelf or something, but it still has the, um, chrome ring around it, which I really like and such. It's a little scuff you see there, but it's really nothing. It's not really that noticeable. But, um, yeah, the down order was definitely cut, but I really do like it at this height. And, um... Yeah, the blades are in really good shape too. And they do have rolled edges on them, which is what makes this version a commercial one. Um, yeah, this is definitely one of the scores from that road trip that, although I didn't get to meet him in person, I'm really glad I was able to get it for a really good price. This is one of the fans I got from him. I got two auto industrials. But um, yeah, for for many people, these are childhood fans, and I'm definitely not an exception. I've seen these while I was a kid at, like, Home Depot, but for me, the place that really made them childhood fans for me was Bonkers Funhouse Pizza. The one had five of these, two Union Era Gold Lines, and the Harsh Environment Day In from the cast one from the 80s. That I was not able to save when they tore the place out, although the Enviral Fan Gold Lines had already been replaced by the newer 48-inch um, Dayton's, the, rep, the ones that look like a can arm, basically. But, um, still would have liked to at least grab the, the Dayton's from there. Even if I could only get, just get the cast environment, or harsh environment cast one that they had. But, um, I at least have my own one now. And definitely probably in a lot better shape than the ones that were there. I, they didn't use them all the time, I know that much. But I do know that some of them were starting to slow down a bit last time I saw them running before they demolished the place. And I would have been able to have gotten them. The problem was, originally the people that were sell there and, um, were moving it to another location, um, they were just going to sell me the fans. But what happened was, for them to rent a forklift, this would remove them. It would have cost them too much to really make any profit for it. And so it wasn't really worth, worth it, which I definitely can understand. But um, I, I have a lot of memories of them. But the fact that I finally have my own one is nice. Um, I definitely want to find the 48-inch version in. The 36 inch one and also the reversible version of this um 
and also to find these in black, though I don't think they were labeled as date in the black versions. I know, pretty sure they were just leading edge. And also I'd love to find a sword challenging version of these, as well as a brown one, which I know they still make under Marley, I think. But, um, yeah, this is the fan I'm really happy to have gotten, and unfortunately they aren't the best reliable fans, and they actually still do make them to this day, despite what people think. They just don't sell them under the Dayton name no more. They just sell them under Reading Edge or Marley and such. There are some websites that still sell them. So, um, yeah, and that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more videos to come.